So people, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Now season 13 is here. Season of the Chosen is here. Now, give me your thoughts on it down below. What do you think about this new season? I mean, to me, I wouldn't even say it's better than last season, but hey, that's just my opinion. It's probably got about two weeks worth of content in it for me. Probably nothing more than that unless they drop something outstanding. It's going to draw me back. But right now, the only thing I'm playing for is this exotic bow. Because me and Bow's people, if you do not know, my nickname last season was Legolas II. Because all I did was play PvP and use bows. I mean, I ain't even good at PvP, but I managed to keep over a 2kd just using bows. Which is quite a challenge for a noob like me. So when I'm hearing that there's a new bow coming this season, season 13, I just had to jump on and try it out. And I'm glad I did. Now it's called the TQ's, I think that says TQ. If you don't, let me know what it says down below, but we're going to call it the Divination from now on. This new exotic bow, if you brought the season pass, you paid for the season pass, you got that expensive row, then you get this literally within the first package you open on that season pass. Now I have heard a lot of people say it's a decent bow, but it's weak. And to be honest, when I first started using this thing, I also thought it was weak. Now there is a catalyst for this thing, you have to pick it up from the gunsmith. I'm currently on the second step, which is a pain in the ass people. But we'll get into that in a quick second and what that catalyst actually offers. But firstly, let's go back to people saying this bow is weak. And to be honest, like I said, when I first started using this thing, it did indeed feel weak. But then I got to using it properly and how it's supposed to be used. And then I realized that both in PVE and PVP, this thing is a monster. It just takes a certain kind of playstyle. You need to adapt to using this thing. If you do that right and get used to this thing, using this in PvP, you'll be an absolute monster. Okay, so let's check out its perks. It's probably best to first check out its exotic perk, the intrinsic perk, Sacred Flame. Hip firing this weapon fires multiple tracking projectiles. This, I believe, can track three targets at a max at once, and it basically gives you like a red box around them. Targets marked by these projectiles explode upon death, or when struck by another sacred flame explosion. So basically what this is doing is, hip firing, these arrows track that target. Once you see that red box around that target, let go of that trigger from a hip fire standpoint, and it is tracking that enemy. It's as simple as that. Now once it's hit that enemy, they get like a flame effect for about 3-5 to five seconds, it's hard to count. But it's about three to five seconds. This is what we're calling sacred flame. And while they're in this sacred flame mode, they explode upon death. Now I learned this in PVP, that as long as they are within that sacred flame animation, they've got that fiery effect on their body, it doesn't matter what kills them, they still explode. So if you switch to a shotgun, while they're in that sacred flame animation, they still explode. If a teammate kills them with a different weapon altogether, they still explode. So that's good to know. Also, I will add, hit firing this thing and those tracking projectiles or arrows, they do a max of around 9 or 10 damage to the enemy in PvP, which is just poor. But actually, that doesn't matter, because that's not actually what these are for. These are for, just put that target into that sacred flame animation. It's what you do next then, is what really matters. So checking out this perk right here, casualty arrows. Arrows fired while aiming down sights, cause sacred flames to instantly detonate. What this means is, if you hit fire, you hit a target. If you then aim down sight and then hit that target, they will explode. Whether it kills them or not, they will still explode. So if you hit fire, you hit a target in PvP, then you aim down sights and you hit that target, he will explode. Even if you do not kill him, he will still explode. He will detonate. Now precision hits with perfectly drawn arrows increase the power of this detonation. What this means is people, if you hit fire, fire that tracking projectile or tracking arrow at that target, it hits that target, they get that sacred flame animation. Your precision hits with that perfectly drawn arrows will one shot that enemy. It will finish them off. It will deal 137 damage times 2, which is just utterly incredible. So let me just rephrase that. Playing PvP, hit firing, you can track up to three targets at the same time if they're grouped up. So if you hit three targets and they're grouped up, all three of them will get that sacred flame animation. If you then use this casualty arrows and hit one of those targets while they're still grouped up with a perfectly drawn precision shot, 
all three of those will die because this will cause a detonation which will deal double the damage which will be 137 times 2 but that detonation will also cause multiple detonations and that's due to this targets marked by these projectiles explode upon death or when struck by another sacred flames explosion and it works the same if you do this with a body shot while it's still under that sacred flame I mean it's a lot to take in but once you understand it and get used to using this weapon it is an absolute monster now what's even crazier people is the catalyst now the catalyst like I said you pick up from the gunsmith once you get this weapon now I am um, well I've done the first part which I thought was well which would complete it now I'm on this part now combatants defeated is pretty straightforward you can do this anywhere guardians defeated is pretty straightforward I got 14 in one game just trying a few things out because I am like less the second people remember the name but then we have collaboration data generated now I got two for a nightfall and I got two for a PvP game so that will take you a while to clock that up to 200 so you basically get 1% for a nightfall and 1% for a PvP game but on I think is that C is it level 11 on the season pass here you'll get basically this doubles objective progression earned within the season pass exotic weapon catalyst quest so that's pretty cool so that doubles your progression but I'm pretty sure as well as one that quadruples it is it here no that's not it it's there there we go quadruples objective progression earned within the season pass exotic weapon catalyst quest so yeah it's pretty cool okay so what does the actual catalyst do and I search high and low on the internet people because I wanted to know what this thing offered and well wow, it's pretty cool so what the catalyst actually does is add in another perk and this perk is called casualty quiver perfectly drawn arrows that detonate sacred flames increase arrow damage striking targets unaffected by sacred flame instead refreshes casualty arrows duration now what I draw from this is perfectly drawn arrows that detonate sacred flames increase arrow damage I'm probably betting this may result in a one shot to the body with that perfectly drawn arrow if that target is suffering in PvP obviously from that sacred flames debuff which would be absolutely unreal and then it says striking targets unaffected by sacred flame instead refreshes casualty arrows duration which I'm guessing means and do correct me if I'm wrong on this but I do think it will mean if an enemy is suffering from that sacred flame debuff if you hit another target who isn't suffering from this debuff that debuffed enemy I think the duration of his sacred flame will probably extend by a couple of seconds but don't quote me on that but yeah guys there's a lot for me to do to get this weapons catalyst unlocked I mean it's gonna take me a while a lot of games of pvp I mean if you know a quicker way please let me know down below that'd really help me out but the TQs, I think that's, I don't even know what that says, people. Tycoons, TQs, Divination. I think it's a great, great bow, like I said. Once you get used to using it, especially in PvP, it is a monster. In PvE, I was absolutely loving it. Earning strikes earlier, did the Nightfall with my pals, using this too. And it just, when you, when you team up with this thing, it is unreal. And I can't imagine what a full team of six would be like with this in pvp especially if they're decent man that would be horrible to play against but yeah guys i'm quite happy i come back and got this thing and tried it out i actually enjoy using it and i'll probably spend most of my time playing with it in pvp anyway until i get bored of the game but we will see but guys tell me your thoughts on this down below in that comment section what do you think about the divination do you think it's decent let me know but guys thanks as always for stopping by if you want to see more destiny on my behalf let me know down below also smash that like button too it really helps out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one